Well guys, my trip to Florida is officially wrapping up. I am heading out to a gas station to get some gas and pick up some friends. Let's go get them. Well, I picked up my friends. Say hi to Mr. Greg. Do you go by Hi Viz, Greg? And uh, Mr. Blockhead over here as well. How, how, how convenient. Ran into these guys. Yeah. This was totally unplanned. We're here. <laughs> In Florida. Woo. We are about to get rained on. light in front of me, I just ride through it. Pretty quickly. Yeah, this is fine. There, that wasn't bad. <laughs> okay, so we just pulled over to go see some baby gators. Of course, I had to take a picture of my bike and the baby gators. Let's go see some real baby gators. See some baby alligators. Look. Hi, baby gators. Mission accomplished. Saw alligators in Florida. <laughs> Let's get back on the bikes. You know, 600 more miles. A lot of rain? Lots of rain. It's all in my left boot right now. <laughs> yeah, just the one. Oh, it's air conditioned. Well, we just made it to John Maxwell's garage. Do you want me to turn the camera around? As long as you know how to blur. I'll show you how. I don't actually. <laughs> no. no. You don't know how to blur? No. What do you, what do you edit with? Premiere. Premiere? Premiere? It's super easy. I got uh, Turn me. the camera around, we'll show you. Okay, ready? This is how her two wheels learns how to blur. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Just made me. So, fun fact I, because of Blockhead, bought Active Track for Final Fantasy <laughs> Pro. <laughs> For $25.99. Really? <laughs> no, I already did dinner, man. No, not really. It's just cool. <laughs> Is it a plug-in? Yeah, it's a plug-in. Plug you, you like space out the um, area you want. I'm about to computer process like that area and then you take a picture or something to go over it. Yeah. And it's like... Same thing in here, but yeah. you have to buy it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
It's called Kids, Fast Blur. Kids Final Cut. Fast Blur. Blur. All right. Fast, fast Blur. Blur. Can I put like anyone's picture in front of your face? Yeah. You know. It has to be one. You got, you've got one of two choices. You can either do Brad Pitt's face <laughs> All right. or Joe Dirt. Oh, definitely Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite. Leaving Maxwell's motorcycles. Time to go check into our hotel and continue the adventure. Tomorrow. Wrapping up things here at Maxwell's garage. Got my girl all packed up, ready to hit the road. She, uh, she had a little accident in John's brand new garage. Leaked a little oil, so. Right there. Well, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. John, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, Seeing no your new place. You got a lot on your hands. Huge congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yep. So, sorry I uh, leaked oil on your floor. Seriously. No, you're good. I'm like really upset about it. Look at my blur. <laughs> oh, I'm not blurring. That's so much work. That's blur. Okay. Ready? I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Hold on. Ready? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, hitting the road. Maxwell's garage. So cool to see it in person. Beyond proud of people out here living their best life. And I have a 700 mile ride home. I'm sad. Mr. Block and Mr. High Biz Greg were supposed to ride back up to Ohio with me. That was the intent. And uh, just, you know, some life things kind of popped up and I basically told Block, go home. You need to go home. <laughs> Take care of yourself. So I am making the trek home solo and a-okay with that. So we're going to stop and fill up and hit the road. What an amazing week. I have such a long drive home and I'm exhausted. It's been a long week. As I've mentioned in previous videos, thank you so much to Anna and her husband Aaron for letting me stay with you. Thank you so much to the Blockhead crew for letting me hang out and just have a really amazing week down in Florida. Thank you John Maxwell for letting us stop by your garage and check the place out. Just have a really, really, really amazing community of motorcyclists that I can officially call friends now. I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I had so much fun making them and I know going through all the footage is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> So bear with me, if these took a while to get out, I apologize. I'm not as refined in my uh, editing skills as some of these other professionals. I'm just gonna go ahead, listen to some music, and try to vomit 700 miles all the way back to Ohio. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. somewhere in Georgia because of course there was crazy crazy construction on I-75 and I decided not to just sit in it 
And it looks like there's going to be some more rain up in the distance. I swear, I've been riding in Georgia for like 12 years right now. Just today, 12 years. I'm so ready to get out of this state. Oh, that's all. Let's keep moving. It has been a seriously shitty ride back home. So I had to stop and get a little pick-me-up. Oh my God, this trip. It is raining so hard, I can't even see the mountain. Oh, I hope I miss it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to, but I sure hope I do. I'm just finally starting to dry off. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like coming back to life after that cold brew. Typically when I travel, I'll try to stop at the gas stations and get that like the little can of nitro cold brew. All three gas stations I went to this morning did not have it. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll just, you know, not be a caffeinated psycho today and see how that goes. And it was terrible. So finally I had to pull over and get gas and just so happens there was a Starbucks across the street. And I was like, screw it, I am taking a break. I hate taking breaks when I'm on a long trip because I just want to get home. But I needed that. I probably sat there for about 30 minutes. Got to call my husband, talk to him, and drink my cold brew and update you guys on Instagram. So I needed that. Even though I'm driving into a cloud of doom and gloom, it's like my spirits are better. <laughs> this has been a long ride home. The ride down didn't feel like it took this long. Ooh, you can feel the temperature drop. I don't want to record through the... Hi, buddy. I don't want to record through the rain because... uh the GoPros get all jacked up. I'm gonna try to keep pace with this guy. At least I'll have a friend on the road now. He's smart, he has his rain gear on. I just hate rain gear. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> Starting to sprinkle, so I'm gonna shut you off now. Catch up in a bit. since I captured the footage and did this ride back to Ohio and I realized I didn't give like any closing thoughts or my opinions on the ride in general other than that it was really rough. So I had a really hard time on that ride back home and it was all up here. I plan on doing a full review of the entire trip video so stay tuned for that. I want to tell you guys about my gear, what I thought about the trip, what I would do differently and all of that jazz. So stay tuned for that. 
Thank you guys so much for following me on this journey. It was still my biggest trip to date. I know it's not as big as other people have done, but it was the first time I did a trip by myself. And uh, yeah, I would do it again in a heartbeat. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You be good and I'll see you in the next one.